This video demonstrates how to construct a reversible bumper using your RoboPromo reversible bumper material. Other plans for reversible bumpers can be found around the web, and our material can be used alongside those as well. To begin the construction, start by placing the bumper material on a flat surface, like this. Then align your team numbers on the fabric. When aligning the numbers, use the sewn seam and the Velcro as reference points for your placement. The sewn seam is the center of the bumper, so center the numbers over that line. Also, on the red side, have the Velcro be on the top of the numbers. And on the blue side, have the Velcro go below the numbers. Be sure to keep this consistent with every bumper you create. Now that you understand how to properly align the numbers, let's back up a step and show you how to apply them. Use a hot iron over a protective piece of paper to apply heat to the numbers. Then remove the numbers protective covering. If there are still loose edges, place the protective paper back over the numbers and reapply the heat. You are now ready to attach the material to the foam, so spread the material out over the foam and center the numbers. Use straight pins to hold the material in place while you work so the numbers stay in position. Now turn the piece over so that you can permanently secure the material in place. Pull the blue side tightly over the center and staple it to the wood. Now do the same for the red side as well. Now the bumper should look like this. Flip the piece back over and pull out the pins. Before proceeding, make sure the numbers are centered for both the red and the blue material. Now, find the edge of the bumper and make a mark on the material there. Cut this flap slightly above the sewn seam to that mark. Make the same cut on both sides. Now, fold the ends in and staple them securely to the wood. The bumper should now look like this with the flaps cut to the edge of the foam on both sides. Fold the material down like this and draw a line along the edge of the bumper foam. These flaps will be cut and discarded. If you happen to cut through the Velcro, staple the Velcro's back stitch to the fabric so that it doesn't come unraveled. Now make one final cut on both sides. Fold the material down and draw a line along the bumper's edge. Make that cut on both sides. The last step is to put Velcro on the top and the bottom of the bumper. Secure them to the board with staples. The construction is now complete and you can easily switch between colors in a matter of seconds.